Today, we are leaving 2020 behind and we are going all the way back to 1990 in NBA 2K20. I want to give a huge shout out to DMX underscore 133 for actually creating this mod. Instead of the current NBA rosters, he actually created the 1990 rosters inside of NBA 2K20. So we're going to be re-simulating the NBA from 1990 all the way up till 2020 into this mod and find out how different things could have went. So we'll start off here just by going through each of the teams to find out who's on it and what the teams are kind of looking like at this point in time. Starting off here, we got the 76ers led by Charles Barkley and Hersey Hawkins. We got the Bucks led by Alvin Robertson, Jay Humphreys, and Ricky Pierce. The Bulls, of course, we got Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. This is pre-Dennis Rodman. We got the Cavs with Mark Price and Ron Harper. The Celtics with a little bit older Larry Bird is kind of after the prime of his career. The Clippers got Gary Grant. Next, we have the Grizzlies who actually did not exist yet in the NBA, but they're going to be coming into the league a little bit earlier because you can't have less than 30 teams in a My League game. So Grizzlies are going to have to be in here. They're entering the league a little earlier. Obviously, they're going to struggle here the first year with just a bunch of 40 overalls, but hopefully uh, they, they start building up their team. And there's a few other teams like this as well. Up next, we got the Hawks, led by Dominique Wilkins and Doc Rivers. We got the Heat, Sherman Douglas. The Hornets got Muggsy Bogues, uh, Del Curry on here as well. Jazz, led by John Stockton, Carl Malone. Uh, they're a little younger right here, still yet to hit the prime of their careers. Kings, we got Rodney McRae, Danny Ainge. We got the Knicks led up by Patrick Ewing. This is right kind of as he's entering the prime of his career. Uh, also got Charles Oakley on the team, and this is a young Charles Oakley. Coming over to the Lakers, we got Magic Johnson, and I'm actually turning off injuries in this simulation. So Magic only played till 91 until, of course, he had AIDS and he had to leave the NBA but in today's simulation, he's going to be able to play uh, his whole career. Lakers also got James Worthy and Byron Scott. This is also the year that Magic won MVP. Now checking out the Orlando Magic. Reggie Theus, I mean, this team isn't looking too great. Mavericks led by Derek Harper, Roy Tarpley. Nets don't really have anybody great at this point. Denver Nuggets led by Fat Lever. Pacers, of course, got Reggie Miller, a young Reggie Miller. And then yet again, we have another team that isn't in the NBA yet, the New Orleans Pelicans. So like the Grizzlies, they're just going to be a bunch of 40 overalls and they're going to just have to completely rebuild their team. Pistons, we got Joe Dumars, Isaiah Thomas, Bill Lambeer. Also, you got a, uh, a little bit younger Dennis Rodman on the squad. Next up, we got the Toronto Raptors, another team that were not yet in the NBA. So yet again, a bunch of 40 overalls, they're going to have to rebuild and hopefully they'll get some good draft picks. But Grizzlies, Pelicans, and Raptors, it's going to be so much different from real life because instead of having good picks in the future, they're going to have them right now. Then we got the Houston Rockets led by Hakeem Olajuwon. Got the Spurs with a young David Robinson. I believe this is actually his rookie year. Got the Suns, Jeff Hornacek, Kevin Johnson, Tom Chambers. We got the Supersonics led by Nate McMillan, and of course, this is before Gary Payton was drafted. His draft is actually coming up this offseason, and we got young Sean Kemp on the team as well. Then we got the Timberwolves, not a lot of great players at this point in time. Trailblazers, led by Terry Porter. We got the Warriors, led by Chris Mullen. And then last but not least, we got the Washington Bullets, led uh, by John Williams and Jeff Malone. And these are our top five players in the league right now. But without further ado, let's just hop into our first season here, the 1990 NBA season. And in real life, the Detroit Pistons ended up winning this season against the Portland Trailblazers. Magic Johnson won MVP and Dennis Rodman was Defensive Player of the Year. Let's see how much differently things turn out in 2K20. All right, we have made it to the All-Star Draft. Of course, the All-Star Game going to be a lot different because now we got the draft and that's actually what's inside of 2K20. So in 1990, they're a little ahead of their time. They're going to start with an All-Star Draft. Our two captains are going to be John Stockton and Michael Jordan. In real life, I believe it was Magic Johnson who actually had the most votes in the West. Uh, so in real life, it would have been him as a captain. But on Team Michael, we got Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Roy Tarpley. And on John Stockton's team, we got Charles Barkley, Chris Mullen, Scottie Pippen, 
and Isaiah Thomas starting. So Team team Jordan looking a little bit better here. Let's see who gets a W. In terms of our three-point and dunk contest, Drazen Petrovic going to win the three-point contest, and Ronnie Sikali is going to win the dunk contest. Dominique Wilkins won the dunk contest in real life this year, and then Craig Hodges won the three-point contest, so that's going to be a little different than real life. And in terms of the All-Star game, Team Jordan absolutely destroying Team Stockton here. It just was not even close at all. I mean, look how many great numbers that Team Michael put up. Making it to the end of the season to the NBA Awards, Michael Jordan with MVP, and he went off this season 41.2 points per game, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 5.3 assists. This would have been his greatest season ever, and we'll check out the records after this, but I believe this puts him top five all time for scoring in a season, maybe even top three. I'm not sure what Wilt's records were because some of his are pretty crazy. Tim Hardaway is going to get Rookie of the Year, real life. That actually went to David Robinson on the Spurs, but Hardaway 15.4 points, 13 assists per game, which is very good. Ricky Pierce going to get six man of the year, averaging 27.9 points per game. Defensive player of the year goes to Michael Jordan instead of Dennis Rodman. And Michael Jordan also with most improved players getting three awards this season, which is pretty crazy. Uh, check out our all NBA teams. We got Jordan Stockton. Billy Thompson, Larry Bird, and Hakeem on the first team. This is our all-defensive first team, all-defensive second team, and then you can check out some of our rookies right here. So David Robinson did make it on the all-rookie first team, just not able to win the award. Check out the standings in the East, the Detroit Pistons with the best record. Uh, so they're looking like the favorites to win the championship. They did end up winning this year. Hawks end up making playoffs. Uh, somehow the Nets get up here because I'm not sure how. They got a pretty poor team. And in real life, they're one of the worst teams in the East. The Bulls going to get 52 wins, uh, 76ers. And then the Pacers going to be the ninth seed. They're not making it in. And the Celtics somehow didn't make it in. In real life, they're actually the second seed this season. And the Toronto Raptors went 0-82, of course, with their 40 overall players. They'll get a good draft pick next year, though. Next up, going into the West, we got the Trailblazers on top. They did make the finals in 1990. Then we got the Lakers. The Spurs, the Suns, the Mavericks made playoffs. Uh, Timberwolves also making playoffs. Again, another poor team getting up there. I mean, they're making it in the playoffs. And then last but not least, we got the Supersonics as the eighth seed. And then Grizzlies and Pelicans, the two worst teams in the West, of course, the 40 overall players. Checking out our season stats, our top five for points per game. We got Jordan with 41.2, which is just insane. 10 above any other player. Dominique Wilkins, Larry Bird, Carl Malone, and Hakeem. For rebounds per game, we got Billy Thompson. He got picked up by the Grizzlies. Okay, so that actually makes sense how the Grizzlies did decent. Uh, he was a free agent, got picked up by the Grizzlies, got 28.8 .8 rebounds per game. He's the only guy that can rebound on his team. Assists per game, we actually have a ton of players with over 10 assists per game. Muggsy Bogues, Tim Hardaway, John Stockton, Richardson, and Magic Johnson. For steals, we got Scotty and Michael up on top with over two and a half each. Uh, we got Darnell Valentine on the Raptors with two and a half. Again, another free agent got picked up by a team that didn't have any players. Billy Thompson and then Ron Harper up there as well. I did turn off injuries, so I'm very confused how Ron Harper is injured right now. Blocks per game, got Hakeem with 3.4, Patrick Ewing. And checking out three-point percentage, Drazen Petrovic shooting 47.5% this season. All right, so the last thing I want to check out here is just the records. Michael Jordan going to be third all-time for points per game, which is insane. 41.2 points per game. That is actually unbelievable. I can't believe he ended up scoring that much. And then Billy Thompson actually gets on top for rebounds per game because of the awful team he has. But realistically, that doesn't really count. Hopping into the 1990 NBA playoffs now, let's find out how differently things turn out from real life. Starting off in the first round, a few upsets over in the West. The Dallas Mavericks defeat the Phoenix Suns, and the Timberwolves defeat the San Antonio Spurs. And in the East, it's actually just going to be the top four seeds moving on. Making it to the conference finals in the West, we got the Trailblazers going to be facing off against the Lakers, and in the East, the Pistons facing off against the Nets. I'm not sure how the Nets ended up making the conference finals because they were pretty bad in real life at this time. 
But let's just simulate to the finals, find out which two teams are going to make it there. The Lakers defeat the Trailblazers and the New Jersey Nets defeat the LA Lakers. I mean, just checking out this New Jersey Nets team, I don't know how they made the NBA finals, but it is what it is. Let's find out which team is going to win the finals. Game number one ends up going to the Lakers who win it in overtime. Game two also going to the Lakers. Game three goes to the Lakers as well. So the Lakers can get a sweep right here in the NBA finals. And that is exactly what they are going to do. A sweep against the weak New Jersey Nets team. It realistically shouldn't have even been here in the first place. So Magic Johnson going to win championship number six to his resume, which obviously in real life he never did. He won the five and that was it for him. Pistons don't end up repeating like in real life and the Lakers are yet again the best team in the NBA. Uh, last thing really to find out here is who's going to get finals MVP. I'm assuming it's going to go to Magic Johnson and Magic does end up getting a finals MVP right there. Magic averaged 14.3 points and 16 and a half assists per game. Uh, that is a lot of assists. Also 2.3 steals. Uh, he's up to a 93 overall now. And already history has been rewritten in our re-simulation of the 1990 NBA season. Up next, we're going to be hopping into the 1990 NBA draft. Some of our top picks, Gary Payton, Mohamed abdul Raf. We got Derek Coleman, Dennis Scott. Antonio Davis, Tyrone Hill, also Tony Kukoc going to be in this draft as well. It's looking like the Raptors and Pelicans are going to get the top two picks, of course. Raptors didn't get a single win this season because they have a bunch of 40 overall. Same with the Pelicans. Uh, so they're starting to build up their teams now with these first overall picks. I just simulated through the draft and somehow the Nets ended up getting the first overall pick. So they're going to pick up Gary Payton and they made the finals last year. I'm not sure how that ended up happening. Dennis Scott goes to the Rockets. Abdul Ruff to the Magic. Derek Coleman goes to the Hornets. Tyrone Hill to the Heat. Raptors end up falling all the way down to seventh, which doesn't make a lot of sense right there. Kukoc ends up going to the Celtics with the 13th pick. So obviously things going a little different than in real life in this 1990 draft. And it'll be interesting to see what happens in this 1990 season. Heading into the 1991 All-Star Draft, we got Magic and Michael Jordan as our two captains. On Team Magic, we got Hakeem, Chris Mullen, Mark Price, and John Williams starting. And for Team Michael, John Stockton, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, and Larry Bird. If you're wondering why everybody only has one or two time all-star it's because when we actually started this playthrough everybody's stats just reset because you couldn't really take players stats from before that time uh, so that's why it is like that yet again michael jordan is gonna get mvp with 37.7 points per game which i believe is the exact same as his highest points per game in real life in a season he also 6.7 rebounds 4.7 assists 2.4 steals Rookie of the year is going to go to Cedric Sabalas. And he was on the Toronto Raptors, of course. So obviously, with all the bad players on that team, he was able to stand out. Average 26.5 points per game in his rookie season. Scott Skiles is going to be sixth man of the year. Hakeem with Defensive Player of the Year. He also averaged 28 and 11. Check out our All-NBA First teams. We got Jordan. Price, John Williams, Charles Barkley, and Hakeem. For our standings in the West, we got the Lakers on top, Trailblazers, Mavericks, Suns, Warriors, Sonics, Spurs, and the Rockets all going to make playoffs. And at the bottom in the West, it's going to be the Pelicans. Of course, one of our added teams to the simulation, only with six wins. Knicks all making playoffs. And our bottom team, of course, going to be the Toronto Raptors. Uh, but this season was seven wins. Last season, they had zero. Check out our league leaders, of course. Jordan on top for points per game with 37.7. Bernard King with 30. Jeff Malone with 28.8. Hakeem with 28. Charles Barkley with 26.7. Rebounds per game, we got Roy Tarpley up on top and Charles Barkley in second with 12.3. So a really good season for Charles Barkley here. Patrick Ewing, David Robinson, and Ronnie Seekley all up there as well. Assists per game, it's crazy how many assists some of these guys are getting. Uh, Muggsy Bogues up on top again with 14. Steals per game going to go to Jordan with 2.4. Blocks, we got Hakeem on top. And then three-point percentage, Steve Kerr shot 55% from three this season, which is crazy. 
up next we'll hop into the playoffs this is the season that the bulls started their first three peat and this season only fourth in the eastern conference so i don't think they're going to be able to pull it off here in our re-simulation coming out of the first round in the west we got the lakers suns trailblazers and mavericks and in the east a huge upset here the knicks with the upset over the 76ers the knicks with a very solid team though they got patrick ewing Charles Oakley isn't doing great for them, uh, but the Knicks with Patrick Ewing, Rod Strickland, and Mark Jackson. So they got a pretty solid team. Uh, the Bulls beat the Magic, the Cavaliers with a huge upset over the Pistons, and then the Hawks defeat the Bucks. Make it to our conference finals in the West. We got the Lakers facing off against the Mavericks. I don't know what it is with 2K in this simulation. They're loving the Mavericks. I mean, I guess the Mavericks players ended up progressing very well Derek Harper and Roy Tarpley have been playing insane uh, so they got a pretty solid team right now and they're facing off against the Lakers who of course won the championship last year and in the east we got the Bulls versus the Cavs and two and an upset in each conference the Lakers losing to the Mavericks and the Bulls losing to the Cavs we almost had the same finals match as in 1991 it was Lakers versus Bulls but this time around we got the Mavericks facing off against the Cavaliers. Game number one, going to go to the Cavaliers. Game two goes to the Mavericks. Game three goes to the Cavs. And the Mavs tie it up yet again, 2-2. Two to two. The Cavs getting the 3-2 lead. They can win it here in game six. But in game six, the Mavs able to get the W. So we're going to a game seven. And in game seven, it's a huge blowout by the Dallas Mavericks winning quite easily here and the funniest thing about this all is that in 1991 the Dallas Mavericks didn't even make playoffs they were the 12th seed in the west but somehow some way in 2k in our re-simulation they are the best team in the entire NBA I think most of it just has to do with the progression they had with a lot of their players a lot of their players ended up turning out great MVP ends up going to Derek Harper he's up to a 90 overall 20.6 points per game and 13 assists great series for him there and yet again history rewritten in this re-simulation it's gonna be crazy to see how different the nba is in like 2020 if stuff like this continues to happen hopping into our 1991 nba draft the jazz are gonna pick up larry johnson with the first overall pick matumbo goes to the grizzlies steve smith to the kings Kenny Anderson goes to the Raptors, Stacey Ogman to the Hornets, Terrell Brandon to the Nets, Greg Anthony to the Pelicans. Rick Fox ended up getting drafted behind a bunch of fake players, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I tried removing as many fake players as I could in the draft. Uh, for some reason, 2K I still had a few of them at a pretty high overall. Going into our 1992 season, our top players are going to be Michael Jordan at a 98, Charles Barkley at a 96, John Stockton at a 96, Terry Porter at a 94, and Hakeem at a 93. I'll just scroll down here to, to everybody over a 90 overall. So I was just going through the rosters to make sure that all the rookies were actually rookies and check out how stacked the Raptors are right now. They got Jeff Hornacek, Clyde Drexler, Larry Nance, and then also... Uh, the past two picks they got from the last two seasons. So they're looking like a very solid team right now. And they went from one of the lowest overalls to one of the highest overall teams. Also, players are getting insane contracts right now. Stuff they would not be getting back in the 90s, but of course is with the 2020 roster. So it's a little different. Hopping into our 92 all-star draft. We got Terry Porter and Michael Jordan as our two captains so terry porter getting up there for the first time on team porter team terry we got charles barkley chris mullen patrick ewing and clyde drexler and on team michael we got hakeem magic carl and james were the all starting michael jordan gonna get mvp yet again for the third season in a row and i don't know what it is in this simulation but he is just a whole nother player he's even better than he was in real life 43.2 points per game this season i mean this is just insane this is his fourth mvp as well uh going over to the rookie of the year it goes to larry johnson of the utah jazz 24.5 and 9 rebounds per game 
Six man goes to Scott Skiles. I believe he won that last year as well. Hakeem, gonna get Defense Player of the Year again. Checking out our All NBA First Team 92. We got Jordan, Terry Porter, Barkley, John Williams, and Hakeem. Checking out our standings in the East Cavs on top. Uh, they got Nate McMillan, Craig Elo, Sam Perkins, Brad Daughtry, Mitch Richmond is a backup point guard. Got the Orlando Magic, 76ers, Bulls, Pistons, Bucks, Celtics, and the Toronto Raptors end up making it here with their super stack team that they somehow managed to get. At the bottom in the East, it's going to be the Atlanta Hawks with only seven wins on the season. So they really went downhill. I mean, they still got Doc Rivers, uh, Dominique Wilkins still on this squad as well. But other than that, uh, the team looking pretty weak. In the West, the Seattle Supersonics going to be the top team. They got Dale Ellis, Sean Kemp on the squad, of course. No Gary Payton. They didn't end up drafting him. But the Houston Rockets led by Hakeem. Minnesota Timberwolves, Lakers, Suns, Trailblazers, Mavericks, and Warriors all making the playoffs. And the worst team in the West is the Utah Jazz. I don't know how. I mean, John Stockton, Larry Johnson, and I guess that is how. They ended up losing Carl Malone. So I guess in future years, I'm actually going to start watching free agency to see which teams pick up who. I mean, a lot of our top players are on the same teams as they used to be. Jeff Hornacek, of course, on the Raptors now. Uh, Scotty Pippen ended up going to the Sacramento Kings. So the Bulls losing out on Pippen. Carl Malone going to be on the Orlando Magic now. Mark Price is on the 76ers. But other than that, most of our top players still on the same teams. Actually, Reggie Miller on the San Antonio Spurs. James Worthy goes to the Bucks. I mean, our teams are just completely different right now from real life. A lot of players not staying loyal to their teams. And the Bulls without Scottie Pippen, I don't think they're going to win any championships. Michael Jordan still playing amazing, but I don't know if they have the team to win a championship now. Check out our league leaders, of course. Michael Jordan on top for points with 43. Charles Barkley also up there with 31. Chris Mullen. James Worthy on the box is doing very good. Then Bernard King on the Washington Bullets. Rebounds per game. We got Patrick Ewing and he's on the Denver Nuggets now. So he's no longer on the New York Knicks either. Uh, Charles Barkley doing really good. Roy Tarplay goes to the Pelicans. I mean, so many of our players just switching up on their teams. Assists per game, we got Nate McMillan up on top. He's on the Cavs. Terry Porter, Richardson on the Timberwolves, and Muggsy Bogues is on the Washington Bullets. He was on the Hornets earlier in the simulation. Steals per game, we got Jordan on top. Scotty Pippen, who abandoned Jordan uh, to get a pretty big contract with the, the Kings right here. Look at that, three years, 90 million. Got Clyde Drexler on the Raps, Gary Payton, Eric Harper. Blocks per game, Hakeem is going to be at the top here. And for three-point percentage, Terry Porter up on top with shooting 46.9% this season. Coming out of the first round of this year's playoffs, not a lot of upsets. Uh, the only upset is the fifth-seeded Suns beating the Lakers, but not a crazy upset. Other than that, all the top seeds moving on. Making our way to the conference finals in the West, we got the Houston Rockets facing off against the Phoenix Suns, and in the East, the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls are able to beat the 76ers, so they're going to make their first finals in the simulation in real life. They're on their three-peat run right now. And coming out of the West, it's going to be the Phoenix Suns. So right now, all the Bulls really have is Michael Jordan. He's up to a 99 overall. And they got Benoit Benjamin. I mean, this team is just completely different than that team they had on their three-peat. And the Suns still got Kevin Johnson. They got Tom Chambers and Tim Hardaway on their team as well. So the Suns looking like a little bit of a better team because all the Bulls really have is Michael Jordan. And I don't think Michael Jordan is going to be enough with the Bulls with the 1-0 lead. Bulls taking a 2-0 lead here. Bulls with a 3-0 lead and I think I completely jinxed it. I didn't think the Bulls were going to be good enough. But look at them now. And the Bulls are going to be able to get the 4-0 sweep against the Suns. Up by seven points here, only 40 seconds left. It's going to be very hard for the Suns to come back. Perfect release by Jordan there. I wonder if Jordan didn't have Pippen or Rodman, if he would be able to actually do this crazy. Michael Jordan with 43 points in this final game here. Tom Chambers had 38. And of course, Michael Jordan going to be finals MVP. He averaged 46.3 points per game in the finals, 7.8 rebounds. I mean, 
it, this is just crazy. These simulations on 2K are just something else. And Michael Jordan finally gonna get his first ring here. But up next, we're heading into the 92 off season with the NBA draft. And this season, I'm actually gonna pay more attention to free agency because a lot of players did end up switching teams last year. They got some better deals from some other teams with these 2020 contracts. It's just pretty insane. But if we come over here to scouting, uh, up to our mock at draft, this is Shaquille O'Neal's draft year. So it'll be interesting to see what team he ends up falling on. Uh, but yeah, he's projected to go first. We got Alonzo Marning, Alfonso Ellis, Jim Jackson, uh, Latrell Spruwell, Robert Ori in this draft as well, Doug Christie. A lot of great players in this draft, of course, led by Shaquille O'Neal. And let's actually hop into the draft lottery just to see who is going to end up getting Shaq. Timberwolves with the best attempt to get him. And let's just skip this lottery. It's going to be the Utah Jazz with the top pick. So they lost out on Carl Malone, but I mean, they're about to pick up Shaquille O'Neal in this NBA draft. So we're going to have a duo of John Stockton and Shaq, which will be pretty insane. So simming to the end of the draft, of course, the Jazz do end up picking up Shaq. Got Alonzo Mourning to the Pelicans, Jim Jackson to the Timberwolves. And I'll just kind of scroll down here a bit so you guys can see where everybody did end up going in this draft. We actually had a pretty decent amount of actual players in this draft. Uh, so it turned out pretty good. We had about like 15 players in this draft. Going into the 1992-93 season, check out our top players yet again. We got Michael Jordan, who is going to remain on the Bulls. He has one more year left on his contract. So it'll be interesting to see if he goes to another team, but the Bulls did just win a championship. Got Charles Barkley, who ended up signing with the LA Lakers, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this Lakers team is now going to have Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, AC Green, Dennis Rodman is on the team as well. So this Lakers team looking really good. John Stockton going to remain on the Jazz. Terry Porter still going to be on the Trailblazers. Keem still on the Rockets. Gary Payton is on the Nets still. Chris Mullen still on the Warriors. Derek Harper still on the Mavs. Hornacek going to remain on the Raptors yet again. Uh, Scotty Pippen still on the Kings. So most of the top players staying on the same team as last year, other than Charles Barkley, who goes to the Lakers. Let's get right into this 1992-93 season. Checking out our 1993 All-Star Draft. Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley are two captains. Starting for Charles Barkley, we've got Terry Porter, Derek Harper, Chuck Person, and Chris Morris, a first-time All-Star here. On Team Michael, we got Michael Jordan, Hakeem, Chris Mullen, James Worthy, and Clyde Drexler. Got a few first-time All-Stars on the team as well. Making it to the end of the 93 season, we finally have a new MVP. It's not going to be Michael Jordan this time. Instead, we got Charles Barkley. Uh, and of course, he's on the Lakers now. We're in number 34. 31.4 points per game, 12.8 rebounds. Rookie of the year, going to go to Shaq on the Utah Jazz. He had a really good rookie season, 24.5 points, 9.8 rebounds. Vern Fleming gets sixth man of the year. Hakeem, yet again, going to get defensive player of the year. And Abdul Roth going to get most improved player. He had 29.9 points per game this season. Check out our all-NBA first team. We got Jordan. Mohamed abdul Raf, Charles Barkley, Sean Kemp, and Hakeem. Hopping into our standings in the West, we got the Lakers, of course, led by Charles Barkley and Magic Johnson still on the team. He did not have to retire in this simulation. Then we got the Pelicans, who, of course, was one of our teams that had to completely rebuild, and now they're near the top of the West from the bottom to the top. Trailblazers still near the top, despite not having Clyde Drexler. But the Spurs, Rockets, Jazz, Kings and Timberwolves all making playoffs. And at the bottom of the Nets is the Denver Nuggets. They're led by Mark Jackson, Fat Lever, and Patrick Ewing is also on this team as well. So I'm surprised that they did so bad because this is a pretty solid team right here. In the East, yet again, the Cavs are going to be our top team. We got the Knicks, the Bulls still up there. Uh, the Bulls the Bulls do have Chuck Person now. So MJ and Chuck Person, a pretty, pretty good duo right there. Still not as good as the championship teams before. Then we got the Magic. Raptors, Celtics, Nets, and Bullets all making playoffs. At the bottom of the East is going to be the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're led by Johnny Dawkins. Also, Robert Ori on this team as well. So yeah, Hornets not looking too good at this point in time. Going to our league leaders, Michael Jordan still on a top for points per game despite Charles Barkley getting 
MVP. Barkley did average 12.8 rebounds per game, though. Mohamed abdul Rauf doing really good. Looks like he's the best player from his draft year. This was the first one. This one had Gary Payton in it, but it looks like he's doing quite a bit better. Chris Mullen and Hakeem also up there. Rebounds per game, we got Hakeem with 15.3 points per game. Sean Kemp, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, and Roy Tarpley. For the assists, John Stockton up on top with 12.6. Nate McMillan with 12.3. I mean, the assists are just so crazy. The fact that there's this many players with over 10 assists per game. Steals, we got Michael Jordan up on top. Scottie Pippen still near the top there as well. Blocks per game goes to Hakeem. And Judd is going to get the highest three-point percentage, shooting 49.2% from the three-point line. But let's hop into the 93 playoffs now and see if the Bulls can repeat here or if it's going to go to another team. Make it out of the first round in the West. We've got the Lakers and Spurs facing off, and then the Pelicans will be facing off against the Jazz. So a uh, nice upset by the Utah Jazz here, defeating the Trailblazers. And in the East, we just have our top four seeds moving on. In the West, top two seeds going to be here are LA Lakers facing off against the New Orleans Pelicans. Crazy that the Pelicans are doing this good. And then in the East, we got the Cavs facing off against the Bulls. Let's find out which two teams will make the NBA Finals. The Bulls are defeated by the Cavs and the Lakers are defeated by the Pelicans. Was not expecting these two teams to make it. I did not think the Pelicans would be this good this fast, but they got a lot of great players. And then the Cavs with a completely different team than what they started off with. Game number one going to go to the Cavs. Game two goes to the Cavs as well. Game three goes to the Cavs and the Cavs can get a 4-0 sweep here. The Pelicans finally able to get a game here in game four. Game five, the Pelicans able to get another W. And in game number six, the Cavs up by three with only 30 seconds left. If the Cavs win this, they win the championship. But if the Pelicans are able to get a W here, they're going to force a game seven. Cavaliers with the ball. They can put it away right here in the side. That is no good. Pelicans going to get one more chance here. Alonzo Mourning inbounding. Greg Anthony with the ball, puts up a tough shot and then throws it out of bounds. Greg Anthony, what are you doing? They're gonna have to foul here now. And the Cavs are probably gonna come home with the game. Up to the free throw line, first free throw is good. And the second one is no good. Greg Anthony with the ball yet again. He's gonna have to put up a tough three. That is no good and the Cavaliers are our NBA champs. Chris Morris is going to be a finals MVP. He averaged 27.2 points, 6.5 rebounds per game. And the Cavaliers are somehow our NBA champions. This is just crazy compared to how the NBA actually turned out in real life. And we're heading into the 1993 NBA draft. Heading into the 93 NBA draft, we got some pretty big players up here. We got Chris Webber, Ben Baker, Jamal Mashburn, Penny Hardaway in this draft. Isaiah Ryder, Allen Houston. Uh, we got some pretty big names here. George Burson, tallest player in NBA history right here. Uh, but let's find out who is going to get the first overall pick. And it's going to be the Atlanta Hawks with the first overall pick. I believe they did have the worst record last season. Then we got the Hornets, Sonics with good picks there as well. Simulating through the draft, of course, Chris Webber does become the first overall pick, getting drafted by the Hawks. We've got Penny Hardaway. Isaiah Ryder, Jamal Mashburn, Allen Houston in our top five, and then our entire lottery right here. You can see all the picks. This is actually going to be our last season of simulation for this video. I assume the video is pretty long at this point in time, and then we'll finish off this season and we'll resume in our next episode. We're going to do about five seasons per episode. Check out our top players going into the 94 NBA season. Michael Jordan's still on top at a 99. He's still on the Bulls. Charles Barkley still on the Lakers. Got Terry Porter, uh, Gary Payton, Hakeem. John Stockton ends up going to the Timberwolves. I thought the Jazz had a pretty solid squad with Shaq on that team, but they somehow let John Stockton go. So now Shaq is their top player. You also got Larry Johnson on that team. I mean, this was such a good team with John Stockton on it. I don't know why 
he ended up leaving. Sean Kemp is now on the Clippers. Most of our other top players still remaining on the same teams. Reggie Miller has now gone to the Nuggets. Carl Malone is on the Heat now. Joe Dumars on the Pacers. Clyde Drexler is still on the Raptors there. Uh, let's just get right into our 94 season simulation. Heading to the 94 All-Star Draft. Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan going to be the captains yet again. Looks like they're going to be the top players in the league for a while. On Charles Barkley team, we got Terry Porter, Carl Malone, Kevin Johnson, and Chris Webber starting. So Chris Webber already a starter for the All-Star team in his first season. On team Jordan, team Michael, we got Hakeem, Chris Mullen, Clyde Drexler, and Chuck Person starting for his squad. And in real life during the season, Michael Jordan did retire for the first time. But of course, he's going to be sticking with the Bulls here. He didn't get those three peats. Bulls aren't nearly as good. He's gotten a lot of MVPs. But other than that, he's definitely not doing as good as in real life. End of the 94 season, Michael Jordan back to winning MVP after Charles Barkley winning it last season. 34.4 points per game, 7.8 rebounds, 5 assists. I mean, Michael Jordan, I mean, he's just so much better in this simulation than real life. And he was already one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time in real life. Chris Webber getting rookie of the year, 24 points per game. He had a great rookie season. He ended up getting traded to the Hawks. A lot of our rookies ended up getting traded around. D Brown going to get sixth man of the year. Hakeem going to get defensive player of the year yet again. I believe that's four season in a row. I think Michael Jordan only won that first season of our simulation. All NBA first team, of course, we got Jordan. We got Terry Porter, Charles Barkley, Chris Webber, and Hakeem. Checking out our standings, Cleveland Cavaliers going to be at the top of the East yet again. Of course, they just came off of a championship, so they're still one of the best teams in the league. Chris Morris, a 93 overall. Then we got the Raptors in a second. In real life, they didn't even exist yet, but now they're the second best team in the East. We got the Bulls up there as well. Three teams with over 60 wins. We got the Knicks, Celtics, Nets, Hawks, and Heat all making playoffs. The worst team in the East is going to be the Charlotte Hornets still. We've got Steve Kerr, Penny Hardaway on that team, Derek Coleman. I mean, this team doesn't look too bad, but they just aren't performing great. In the West, it's going to be the Lakers up on top. Of course, we got Magic and Charles Barkley up to a 99 overall. It's crazy how good Charles Barkley is actually doing in this simulation. And we got the Spurs, who still have David Robinson. They actually won't end up getting Tim Duncan, I'm assuming. So it'll be... Interesting to see how they do later on. We've got the Warriors, Kings, Rockets, Trailblazers, Clippers, and Jazz all making playoffs. So despite the Jazz losing John Stockton, they still are one of the best teams. I mean, this might have been the best team in the West if John Stockton didn't leave. And the worst team in the West is going to be the Timberwolves, who is the team John Stockton went to. So he really, really messed up right here, leaving the Jazz for the Timberwolves. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Larry Bird's about to retire anytime soon. They got Sean Bradley, but he's tall, but that's about it. Up next, check out our league leaders. Of course, up on top for points per game, it's Michael Jordan, like it always has been. Charles Barkley going to get 30 points per game yet again. Then we got Chris Mullen, Carl Malone, and Bernard King. Charles Barkley also going to pull the most rebounds per game with 13.2. Assists per game, we had Terry Porter with 14.6 this season. Gary Payton with 2.8 steals per game. Ron Harper, Michael Jordan both up there as well. Blocks per game went to David Robinson with 3.8 blocks per game. Hakeem in second. Three-point percentage is some random player. I don't know who this is, but Mark Price in second, shooting 46.7%. Well, let's just hop into our last playoffs of this video. I will be doing more videos where we go all the way to 2020. I'll do about five seasons per year till we get to 2020. But hopping into the 94 playoffs, let's see who makes it out of the first round. The Lakers are the favorites to win this one. And in the West, it's going to be the top four seeds moving on from the first round. In the East, we got one upset, the Celtics beating out the Knicks. I'm kind of curious who the Celtics have. I haven't checked out their team for a while. We got Mookie Blaylock as their top player, 90 overall. Kevin McHale still at an 87 despite being 36 years old. So he's doing very well into his old age. Tony Kukoc turned into a great player. He's still only 25, a lot of improving to do. And they also got Kendall Gill. So Celtics looking pretty solid. 
but let's see if they can get the upset over the Cavaliers and they are not able to do so. Cavaliers are going to defeat the Celtics and the Raptors defeating Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Clyde Drexler dropping 33 this game and Kenny Anderson with 32. Over in the West, the Lakers defeat the Kings and then the Warriors with a 4-0 sweep against the Spurs. Let's find out which two teams are going to make the NBA Finals this year. The Cavs have been eliminated by the Toronto Raptors and the Warriors are defeated by the LA Lakers. So the Raptors, their first championship was in 2019. They might get this thing a lot earlier than they did in real life. They didn't even exist at this time, but it's going to be hard to stop Charles Barkley and the Lakers. Game number one goes to the Raptors. Game number two goes to the Raptors as well. Game three goes to the Raptors again. So the Raptors with a 3-0 series lead, they can sweep the Lakers in the finals here in game four. Lakers finally able to get a game on the board. Game five, Lakers able to win that one as well. But in game six away, Raptors finally able to close out the series. And the Raptors with a really good squad, Larry Nance, Clyde Drexler, and Kenny Anderson. And they started off as the worst team in the NBA in that first season of simulation. They went 0-0. And 82. So the fact that they are now the championship team able to beat out Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, and the Lakers is very impressive. Also forgot they got Jeff Hornacek as well. How did they manage to get so many great players? I don't understand. Clyde Drexler is going to get that finals MVP. Clyde ended up averaging 23.2 points per game, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists during the finals. He's also a 93 overall, 31 years of age. And that is actually going to be it for this video. If you guys want to, if you guys want me to continue the simulation all the way to 2020, all you got to do is smash that like button. Let me know that you did enjoy it. Uh, and also, if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on these future videos. This has been your boy Smickle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money.